All right, I was not expecting to upload a video today. My wife got home, told her, I gotta make this video. It turns out that Unity decided to tick off their entire user base this morning by introducing a Unity runtime installation fee, a new fee that can charge game developers up to 20 cents per installation of their game. And if that sounds weird to you, you're not the only one. A lot of questions came up today, like how does this affect subscription models, charity bundles, free to play, even what happens when someone pirates your game and it does happen and they install it. Are you gonna pay 20 cents? These are honestly questions that only Unity can answer, but I also think it's a really good opportunity to compare how Unity structures its fees for game developers and how the Gato engine structures its fees for game developers. And because it's so short notice, I've enlisted the help of my friend Tom from the 1992 movie, A Few Good Men. I'm gonna cover Unity, he's gonna cover Gato. First, licensing. Unity has a free license option with some feature restrictions and a pro plan that starts at $2,040 per year for one user. Tom, how much does Gato charge for their licensing fee? Zero. Unity then charges for each additional user. Within the pro plan, that adds another $2,040 for each seat. And in this case, seat means team member. So if you've got 10 team members, you gotta pay for 10 seats. Yo, Tom, how much does Gato charge for each additional team member? Zero. For Unity, there's also an enterprise plan. That's obviously more expensive because you have to contact them directly. And an industry plan that includes additional features for $4,950 for each seat. Tom, how many tiered levels with increasing pricing structures does the Gato engine have? Zero. All right, now let's look at royalties. Unity doesn't actually charge for royalty, royalty, royalty? Royalty fees, well, until today. While engines like Unreal opt for a 5% royalty fee that kicks in once you generate $1 million in gross revenue, Unity has decided that starting next year, it will charge a Unity runtime fee based on game installations. Now they actually have a really handy chart makes it really interesting. Basically, once you reach the revenue and installation thresholds, each time your game is installed, you'll be feed 20 cents or less if you have a more expensive subscription plan. Emerging markets pay less than two cents per install. What counts as an installation isn't exactly clear, and it might mean that someone could employ a bot to up the installs artificially to charge back the developer. Okay, it's slightly weird. Tom, how much does the Gato engine charge on royalties? Zero. How about fees for someone installing the game? Zero. Tom, how many fees does the Gato engine actually have? Zero. You're saying that nobody has to pay the Gato engine a cent ever? Zero. Nobody. Actually really nice. You know, this whole Unity introducing retroactive installation fees sounds a little bit like a scam. Anyway, I hope we cleared up the fee comparison a little bit between Unity and the Gato engine. A lot of people are really, really upset. And frankly, I agree. I think it's a bad plan. I think, I, I hope that they'll walk it back because it's gonna do a lot of damage to their trust, which is the main issue here. To introduce a fee like this when people have already committed to making a game with your engine, not knowing this was gonna be a thing, kinda of sucks. Now, are really small developers going to be hit with this? Probably not. I mean, you have to reach that threshold and you have to have a certain number of downloads, but if they're gonna do this, who's to say they won't lower that? You know, I got an email Today, I got an email today saying that one of my uh, subscriptions, Disney, I think it's Disney Plus, Go Ahsoka, uh, was increasing. And they send these all the time. This has become a common practice. They hook you in with a subscription model. You are dedicated. You want to watch these things. And then they just bump it up 5, 10%. Who's to say they're not going to make that 20 cents, 25 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, dollar. A, a dollar would be pretty high. But you get my point. And honestly, to tie this to game installations is a really weird way of doing it because the installation is not part of the purchasing process. You could buy something and not install it. Buy something and install it 20 times. Like where does that line go? If you buy a game and you install it on different platforms, does that developer have to pay for each of those installations? I think they've already said that things like Game Pass would be affected with this. Yeah, kind of sucks. Anyway, I hope they walk it back or at least tweaking it a little bit. Anyway, if you're new here and you are coming from Unity and you're interested in the Gato Engine, check it out, subscribe to the channel. Pretty cool to have ownership and know that your work is not tied directly to the needs of stockholders. So happy to have you, hope it works out. I gotta go make dinner, it's late. Tom's gotta go jump off a building or something. Thanks for watching this very low production video and I'll see you later this week.